Hello, this is not a spring chicken, of course. The big news is not that Obama did a camp... Oh, wait, no, it's not a campaign stop in Iowa, but that, oh, Sarah Palin, with the release of her movie, her book tour, that she might just decide to run for president, and Bachman's response is, great, it'll give Obama, what, two people to get upset about. <laughs> And Republicans' old guard expected to cave into the demands of the Democrats and not cut any spending and add new taxes. Well, I know, because remember, these guys, the old guard is the spending people. And the only way they're going to get to spend more money is to let the Democrats raise taxes so they'll have more money to spend. But they're going to throw their rears out. I mean, I did hear last night, was it Bonnyard or whatever it is, talking about it. He said that if we don't hold our line... Our party is going to throw, I mean, they're not even going to wait for the election. They're just going to toss us out the door the day after the president signed the tax increases. Mm-hmm. And Obama's polls continue in free fall, but easily expected to win re-election against Bush. I know. I, I but Bush it. isn't running. Bush isn't running. Well, you, if you'd listen to his news conference he had a few minutes ago, this is on. We didn't realize the problem of George Bush and the Republicans that dug us into was such a great problem. You know, the George Bush... And he's running totally against George Bush. This whole campaign is against George Bush. That George Bush did this. George Bush got us into Iraq. I got Bin Laden. He couldn't. Well, since there's really no proof he did anything other than what he said, because they dumped the body out into the ocean uh, to make certain it couldn't be found. That's why it was dumped in the ocean, folks. Yeah, of course, because who's going to identify him? That's right. That's right. At least 10 civilians killed in an attack on Afghanistan hotel. Yeah, I mean, uh, first of all, they got the only way you can get through the security forces is you have to be part of the security forces. That was, it's the building where the reporters and the international uh, delegates to Afghanistan all come to, so the security is very tight around in there. So they, they blow the thing to hell last night in order to save the people. And in the process, there's no place for the people to go. But we don't worry that we're building a billion dollar. We're spending a billion dollars to build an embassy in Kabul, though. Why? We are in Kabul? Why? Why? The town didn't cost a billion dollars to build. And central bankers agree on bank capital surcharge plan. Yeah, it's going to cost, because of Obama, it's going to cost you more money to do banking than it did before. But he's trying to make the banks more consumer friendly by making certain that they charge you for everything they used to give you for free. So what was the consumer friendly part? Uh, he doesn't, oh, he just said, I, uh, he got, I heard him, he got chuckles. This is the most consumer and business friendly presidency in the history of this nation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In tropical storm, our lane forms in Gulf heavy rain expected. Yeah, well, a lot of those areas in that area can use the heavy rain. That's, you know, why they exist in that area is because that's, the hurricanes come in and throw lots of water all over all of the ground, making the ground nice and green. No hurricanes, no green areas. Oh, is that how that works? That's right. And ocean life on the brink of mass extinction. Extinctions study. Yeah, because of what the, of what George Bush did while he was presidency. That it's probably I know it, it's probably too late now to turn back the clock because of George Bush. Oh, this is one you gotta love it. The Democrats, there are Democrats now that are saying, not that, not that we're making any reference to the Nazis and Jews, but we think that people that are anti-environment should be tattooed by the government to display the fact for now and forever to the people of this world that they, they help to destroy the world. Uh -huh. uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's, that. That was another thing that basically we had a Democrat actually propose that. Actually, here, the, but Democrats uh, and they, they were serious. They were serious. The tattoos, you know, with uh, you know, tattoos with bar numbers like in like the uh, Nazis did to the Jews should be tattooed on every person that stands against saving this world. Actually, we could talk about ridiculous bills proposed. Oh, the no. ridiculous bill. Obama got caught. Uh, I'm getting ready to hire actors to call doctors up on the telephone and ask them, do you accept Medicaid patients? Do you accept Medicare patients? Do you, you know, or do you only accept people with private insurance? Uh, when that got out yesterday, that went, everybody went through the roof because, I mean, the, the Democrats, okay, Democrats do all the crappy stuff, but the problem is, is, you know, 
Ed, Ed Moe Marvin said to Charles Bronson, which I was in Dirty Dozen, I love that scene, I was an MP, and a German, the problem is you got caught. They got caught and it was blown up. I mean, we're talking the left-wing press put that everywhere. Obama prepared to hire actors to try to, to, uh, to, try to crush doctors that won't accept Obamacare. He was going to publicize the names of every doctor that wouldn't do oh, Obamacare. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, isn't that a good one? And Tom Petty takes on Michelle Bachman over American Girl. Okay. I brought my leapfrog over to truth. You, you can buy the right to use the music. You mean you can buy the right to use the music? You can buy the right to use the music. I didn't know that. That's why you join ASCAP and BMI, because they sell the rights to do your music. Well, that's not right. That's why you join them, so they can do that. Yeah. Remember, and they don't ask the artist they, approval for each one. Uh, they don't have to have it, because they one, the, the, the Beatles have been pissed off for years about people using like a revolution, thing like that. When you join those organizations, you sign agreements for them to uh, basically get fees for doing what you want to do. If you don't want a music, a piece of music put out for a fee, then you have to retract it from the library. Mm -hmm. And they generally don't do it until after someone has used it that they don't like, which tend to be all Republicans. Mm -hmm. And global warming or little ice age, which will it be? I know, the Democrats don't care. Whatever happens, we were right. <laughs> and here's, now here's the thing, too. If nothing happens, we were right. Uh -huh. We stopped global warming. Al Gore is already on the, uh, somebody has said him, seen it, you know, where he's prepared. If nothing happens, thanks to our efforts, we've managed to curtail global warming for a generation or two. And Glenn Beck says his family encountered hostility in New York City. Oh, I mean, um, okay, basically the guy... He, you know, you got. He's like a bull waving a, you know, bat, you know, you know, in front of a red flag. The guy goes to an outdoor. You know how they they show movies in the summer or something. Mm -hmm. He took all of his family out to see an outdoor movie, and guess what? The New York City is full of liberal Democrats. Right. And he's a Republican in a theater, showing a democratically type movie like All the President's Men. Mm -hmm. Something something really heavily against Republicans, and he's sitting there in an audience with people cheering the collapse of the Republicans. And, uh -huh. yeah, so he got a, he, you know, he, he don't go to places where you know you're going to cause a problem. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And potato chips are piling on the pounds, study finds. No, it's not potato chips. It's, they're trying to get it, once again, they're talking. Uh, okay. Those stupid chips that they make, I wouldn't buy. I mean, I'll go buy something that's bad because they taste horrible. Which ones? Oh, the one with uh, those things where they get, get trans fat or something. They get out. I mean, they take the take potato chips, make them horrible. I have to have salt anyway because I, I burn, as she knows. If I don't get salt in my, I'll dump salt on salty stuff because I have to have salt for my system. But they, you know, we're going to have to take potato chips under control. You know, it's all right for the President of the United States and his family to have all the potato chips that they want, but not for you. Mm-hmm. And UFO Mothership video goes viral after YouTube upload. Yeah, yeah everything goes viral. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, what, what is... I know, we put it this way. Tom Hanks the other day was clowning around on Univision. It went viral, and now they basically said they saved $20 million on his movie that's coming out with Julia Roberts because the viral hit was such, you know, him. Remember, Tom Hanks used to be a comedian. He was. And he used to be a physical comedian. He's just doing, you know, What was he doing? Oh, they got, they're doing the green screen in the background, and, you know. Oh, he, so they caught him being silly and so He was he, being silly, and they, they went viral with him being silly, so. So would they save $20 million on they advertising? Said that was worth $20 million, that $20 million that they don't have to spend in advertising because the whole world has seen Hank's being silly now, and it's a silly movie. Oh, well, works out perfect. Do yeah. you think he has anything to do with the profitability of that movie? He's the producer. Oh, yeah. imagine that. Yeah, no, but this is Tom Hanks. When I remember Tom Hanks when he was young. He used to be silly. He though. was a comedian, but he was in... Um... No, he was in the... Was, him and Peter Scolari were playing a couple of women in a dorm thing. Yeah. So they could, yeah. they could stay in the dorm. The totally yeah. ugliest women on earth. They were. Yeah. And Walmart hikes the branded diabetes drug prices? Study. Uh, because the people that have supported Obama for Obamacare are now finding out 
that they can't afford the bills, so they're raising the prices on everybody now. Oh, and Hollywood actress uh, blacklisted, he poured from Myanmar. Oh, yeah, Michelle Yeoh. You what know, happened? Because she did a dramatic role. She played a person that they don't like in Burma, and they basically, as soon as she came into the country to talk to the person she played in the movie, they threw her out of the country and said she's no longer welcome. And they're going to ban all of her movies and stuff in the country now. Mm. And a Monty bubble isn't from the March 20 of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. It, it's, a, it's a simple way to tell that you're dealing with a Democrat. Uh, you say you have a product that absolutely nobody wants in the world, they'll tell you to manufacture it. Mm. 